You worked with some well-known people back then, and you had Eric taking pictures. Yeah, who's gone and on also it. doing graphic design stuff. And he, he designed one of our logos, pretty cool one too. I still like it. Almost like a almost like a kind of graph art kind of piece thing he did. Cool. But he, yeah, so he would do art and then photographs and this and that. He was, you know, he was. He was, you know, helped us out. He wasn't exactly a manager, but, you know. At Topanga Day's first gig, like, Clifton. Clifton. DJ Clifton came out all the way he from didn't La Habra. He probably didn't sleep. He didn't sleep. I do not, he does not sleep. Clifton does, does not, he just doesn't. He's not a DJ vocabulary. vampire. Yep. <laughs> he is. So, when he, yeah, I mean, he showed up at, out, at the outside, like, the Topanga Day's gig, and I, I could not believe that he'd actually made it there, because we DJed the night before, and... It was like, you know, it was like 12 o'clock, which is just ungodly for you know, Noon, people like myself the, and right. Clifton. Well, anyways, and I, <laughs> I, I look up to start singing like the, the last verse of the song and I see Clifton, I just literally, I just busted up in shock. How was that? Yeah. That, Being together again on stage. It was, it was really fun. It was like, you know. Did you just fall in line just like it was back in the day or? Probably not exactly. Because you know it's been a long time, and you, it takes a little bit to get into that mm -hmm. thing. I, mean, I, I, I would say we probably still haven't even gotten to that place of like you know really that complete. But we still, you know, I think we were able to get into the musical zone mm -hmm. and get you know pretty comfortable. We'd had one basically like one and a half practices before that, so it was That's pretty not limited. A lot. You know, it was it was it was like a little bit of a stress getting getting together because there was so much. I mean, I know myself personally because. The, the, nature of the music it's very there's a lot of like you know soloing it's a lot of like you know stuff you got to have to have your you know you got to have your shit together well how would you describe the sound if somebody hasn't heard the inclined it's progressive rock in a way you know mm -hmm. but it's also at the same time also really has a lot of respect for songwriting you know for melodic what some people might call pop you know mm -hmm. foundation like you know i think of you know when it comes to like compositional pop song, the Beatles being you want know, a foundation for the pop of rock music, you know, 60s. Um, it, it, it still has respect for those elements, but also mixes in, you know, because it is, like I said, it's, it mixes jazz chords and some, you know, things in funk and those kind of things in there as well. It's kind of a progressive pop rock music let's talk about the fashion because that is a question i wanted to bring oh, up yeah. this Another. is definitely a grunge era we've got long reddish dyed hair and kind of a paisley swirly shirt and you're kind of grunged out you got the I'm skull cap and the well you get a little essay thing going on george harrison on the bottom right. be real <laughs> on the top kind of i'm no one to speak of course but gene was our star in that particular in the fashion arena. Category. yeah gene was Ever, he would, he's the one who would feature the uh, um, the Venice pants. The, he, he, he the rocked, muscle man pants? Yeah. <laughs> Venice, he'd rock the Venice hammer pants. Oh. Not the shiny ones, but like, you know, the Venice no, muscle pants. doesn't matter. With the he, print? He rocked those with like, with like a cutoff shirt. You know what I mean? Like with a cutoff, like, you know, t-shirt that he'd cut like the sleeves off and then like yeah. maybe like yeah. almost like a little bit of space, almost like a little mid, it was like almost... It wasn't quite showing midriff, but just right on the edge. And then with his bright red Converse. I'm starting to realize maybe why Tony and Eric maybe didn't show up. They were afraid <laughs> of the fashion. I saw it when St at the show, Steve was actually ro rocking a big Netflix t-shirt. Yes, he was representing. definitely representing Netflix, <laughs> which is one of his, you know, that's his, that's his job out in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah.